Hello, Eleven Cities fans. If you're listening, it must be Monday. My name's Kristen Thomas, and I was asked to answer a few questions. The first one is, how do you mentally and physically prepare for paddling? Um, I think this is essential, especially because I'm a senior master's athlete. I'm not sure what they're called in different parts of the world, but um, mentally and physically, you got to start way before the race. So hydrating days before, not just the morning of, uh, proper nutrition. Usually that means the dinner the night before should be something you're used to eating so you don't, uh, don't mess around with, with new products. Um, if you're taking any nutrition and hydration, use things that you're used to. Um, stretching, really important in my program. Always try to warm up on the water besides um, stretching and exercise on land. Usually that's a, a mile, uh, depends on the kind of race, of course. Um, and I think visualization for the mental thing is just picturing yourself having a successful race going through, especially if you know the course, just like the whole thing. Um, a favorite exercise. So besides paddling being, of course, the most important, on water I think drills are super important. Um, even if you're doing a race that you think is not going to have wake or waves or, um, I mean, Mother Nature plays with us. You need to practice quick changes and braces and turns and all of that type of thing. So I think that's essential. But off water, both cardio and strength are important to me. Not always good at the strength part. Not, haven't really been a gym person, but um, an extra cardio I always try to throw in during the week. My favorite would be spin, um, which I'm missing during these COVID times because that studio is closed. I am running some instead, or jogging, I should call it. Uh, not my favorite, but great cardio and free right out the door. Uh, do you have a special diet? Um, have you heard of the seafood diet? If I see food, I like to eat it. Um, I love everything. I love food. Um, but I think I eat pretty healthy in general, but I have been trying to be more specific. Actually, I think these times, strange times, could have led to a lot of weight gain, but instead I did a detox thing and then um, kind of a health-focused, try trying to get more um, just fresh foods, proteins in the diet. I have never been a shake person or smoothie person, but I just started doing that last month, and I really like it. I'm actually not using it for meal replacement, but I like that... Um, getting your uh, extra green micronutrients and your protein, extra protein, and um, I'm throwing collagen in there because I'm old, into either a smoothie or a shake. So that's part of my diet. Uh, what do you change in your training routine when you're preparing for long races? Well, I'm one of those who hasn't had the opportunity to do your wonderful 11 Cities Tour. Um, I was thinking this might be the year, but uh, especially because I'm in the United States and we're not allowed to go to the EU correctly, I think, because we're not handling this all very well. Um, it probably won't be the year, but I have done a, a Chattajack and uh, Molokai to Oahu. Um, I think the main thing is at least once a week trying to just put time in on the water, and it's not always like a huge, hard two or three hour paddle, but being on the water for a few hours because most of what I do is definitely like one hour interval training before or after work. It's like early, late. So um, once or twice a week leading up, really trying and usually doing that in a progression of um, building up to miles. The races I've done that are long, I've never done the full amounts to get prepared for them. I have in my head that if I do at least half, um, I think I did that for Chattajack. I did a few that were uh, in the teens, even though I was doing a 32 mile race. I think that was good. And let's see, can you give um, a sup race tip? Well, I kind of already mentioned how important I think the mind is. Um, I just got this wonderful plaque. It's going to be backwards, but it says the mind wins first from Susie Cooney, um, who's a coach and trainer. And I just think it's so, your mindset is so important and such a huge part, especially in long races of, of what we do of sport of any kind. So um, just know know your demons, know that sometimes those pop up, especially in, in long paddles. Um, be ready to have that positive self-talk when you, your mind tries to go the other way and uh, 
you know, your, your mind, you need to have that control of it so that it wins and it's a winning attitude. Um, I do want to throw in, because this is Motivation Monday, you know what's really motivating me right now? Of course, it's really exciting that 11 Cities Tour will probably happen, but these virtual races and leagues are so fun. I just got my gear for my virtual Molokai to Oahu. It's just a 16 mile, it's plenty, but paddle. Um, there's a virtual paddle league that has been so fun to see how you match up against people you never get to race and that you can keep submitting a time for a 5K or a 1K. Um, and then the cause races to be able to keep supporting them during these tough times by signing up. Um, Paddle for Plumber on the East Coast of the U.S., the Panda Paddle is coming up, Stand Up for the Cure. So I'm really motivated. I'm one of those who likes to have a carrot and something to be working towards. So this virtual race um, scene, I think, is really awesome and a great way to keep us motivated until we can all be together again. Hope you're all well. Stay safe. Take care.